So I woke up this morning only to find out that my red planet Acropora is actually RTNing, which is freaking me out. I've taken the time and tested for the usual elements, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and everything is spot on, so I can't really figure out what the problem is. So I called my friend Paul at the ARC, and he told me about this new test, a new ICP test, where I can send a sample of my tank's water, and it'll be sent to Colorado, and in two days, they come back with a report of up to 33 elements in the water. Elements that I can't test. So I'm gonna head over to the ARC and get that test kit so we can figure out what's wrong with my tank. So after I got off the phone with Paul over at the ARC, I was kind of intrigued about this new test. So I went online and I found out their website. It's icp-analysis.com. And it pretty much tells you everything you need to know about the test. So it turns out ICP stands for inductive coboplasma, which is a machine that is commonly used by companies when complying with EPA food and environmental issues. The ICP machine will break down your water to the basic elements and then measure each element down to parts per million and even parts per billion, making it far more accurate than any test kit available to us hobbyists. So the way the ICP machine works is they inject your salt water sample into a plasma chamber, which is heated to 10,000 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. And what that does is the heat breaks the water sample down to the most basic elements. So as the water sample is heated, it breaks down into elements, and each element releases a wavelength. So the machine, to measure the concentration of the element, what it does is it measures the energy released by each of the specific wavelengths. We've arrived at the ARC and I'm going to get with Paul and find out exactly what I need to do in order to get my water sample analyzed. So let's walk into the store. Hey Paul, Hello, how are you man? Welcome to the ARC. Thank you, thank you very much. So I'm here about that analysis test kit that you mentioned over the phone? ICP Paul? analysis, very cool. Alright, and how does this work? Sure, three simple steps. Okay. First is to register online. Got it, I can do that. Next is to fill the tube with your water sample. Okay. Attach the label. All right, and it's email, name, cell. Oh, I can do that. Simple. Thank you. That's that's easy enough. And then last is just stick it in the shipping envelope. Okay. Attach the stamp, and you Perfect. mail it off. And how long does it take? Sure. Once they receive it, they'll have it in 48 hours. Oh, that's excellent. All right, man. I'm not gonna take any more of your time, so I'm gonna go and uh, head back home and test my go. water and try to figure out what's wrong with my tank. Good luck, Carlos. Thanks a lot, Paul. So I got everything done and I'm just going to head over to the post office right now and put a stamp on the pack and send it over. But I have to make sure that I put enough postage in it. So I'm just going to walk into the post office and uh, make sure that I do that. Hey everyone, I got my results back. 
Um, I dropped the test results at the post office on Thursday. And then the post office guaranteed delivery on Monday, which they did get it on Monday. And by Wednesday morning, I had an email with my test results and everything looks fine. Uh, the only thing it shows is my calcium is a little low. And I noticed also that my uh, strontium is also low. What I do know is that my red planet, um, I lost the colony, so I ended up having to frag it all. But at the same time, nothing else looks like it's suffering. So there's no more coral star TNing or anything like that. So I'm assuming that it's a one isolated incident instead of something happening. But it is a great peace of mind to exactly know what is in my tank. So I'm happy. I, I love this tank. I have a lot of time invested in it. So I want to make sure that my baby is doing well. Anybody that wants to test or anybody that's having issues, we highly recommend icp-analysis.com. Get the test kits, you can get them at your local store and uh, have that peace of mind. Create a baseline, even if there's nothing going on, send the test in and then almost every six months or so, test it again to make sure that your parameters are okay. Because there's a lot of things in here that we are unable to test, like silver, aluminum, chlorine, silicon, strontium, that there's no way for us to test. So for anybody that's asking and all those people that email me, thank you for asking and hopefully I'll talk to you guys later.